Good afternoon, everybody. It is Thursday afternoon, and finally, it's been a few days. I want to say five, five or six days. I got some TTMs back in the mail. I was getting worried there. I was getting more ready to go out because I felt like I didn't have that many out, but just must have been one of those little hiccups where, you know, it was just timing and everything, and it just went, like I said, about four or five, six days without anything. But we got four today. No return to senders, which is fantastic. Some of these returns I'm extremely excited about, and um, I hope you guys are too. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you have fun with it, and let's begin. So the first one is a one of three success in 50 days, and it's coming out of Denver, Colorado. This is for the Battle of the Decades Team 90s contest that we're having. Go Team 90s. Finally got one back again. It's been a little bit. It is Mr. Jeff Donaldson on this 1990 Pro Set card when he was on the Chiefs. And you see inscribed number 42. As you can see, unfortunately, the Sharpie was running low. But it's an autograph. It'll count for Team 90, so it's good to go. But I think I might try to reach back out to him to get a better autograph. I don't know. We'll see. Um... It looked like no one's reached out to him for a little while, so um, I don't know how popular uh, he is with a lot of you guys, but if you're looking to get an autograph, uh, again, the address will be in the description. There's the back of the card. You can see that most of his career, well, all of his career up to this point was with Houston, the Oilers, and then he went to the Chiefs. I don't know if he went to any other team after that, but anyways, Mr. Jeff Donaldson in 50 days. Next, we have a two out of two success in only six days out of Santa Clarita, California. And it is Mr. Charles Deerkop. He was an actor. He always played the kind of the old school mobster kind of character. I always knew him because of his, uh, his the shape of his nose. I, he always stood out. So you can see this one says to Brandon. Charles Deercop and Black Sharpie, and that's him right here. And in the second photo, to Brandon, be kind, Charles Deercop. So that was a really good, quick return. Six days. Couldn't ask for anything better. Fantastic. Looks good on the photos. I'm really hooked on these photos. I gotta give a shout out to all of you that do photos because I, I saw you guys doing it and gave it a shot and I'm really liking it. Matter of fact, my wife likes the photos better than the cards, so I think she's getting kind of hooked on them. <clears throat> the next one I'll do is this one. This was a three of three success in six days from Santa Barbara, California. This one I really, really got excited about. And uh, this person signed the index card first, so I'll show it. So it says, Brandon, if you build it, he will come. Dwyer Brown and also inscribed John Kinsella. That was his character. Now, if any of you have ever watched any sports movies, I'm sure you know what movie he played in with If You Build It, He Will Come. So it was fantastic that he did that. He's got some fantastic writing. And so he also did both of the photos for me. And what I thought was really cool is he switched up sharpies for me so this was a black and white you see mr brown right there that's mr costner kevin costner and he wrote brandon is this heaven dwyer brown and then also inscribed john kinsella again so that was his character he was one of the ghosts that came out of the cornfield and and you'll notice that's in black sharpie the second photo he did in blue sharpie for me it says hey brandon want to have a catch this was part of the movie when he looked over at his son, Kevin Costner's character, and and uh, they wanted to play catch. So he put that in there, which I thought was crazy cool. Again, a signature Dwyer Brown, and then, again, John Kinsella. So this one was a fantastic return, and it only took six days. And I love that he quoted famous sayings from the movie. So this was definitely, on a cool factor, easily a 10. This was fantastic. So Mr. Dwyer Brown made my day. And this last one, as a kid who you know grew up in the 80s and 90s, 
I love this guy. This is a fantastic return. It took a little bit of two of two in 57 days out of Honolulu. But the address that was, I used for the success was out of New York. So it went to New York. I forwarded to Hawaii, forwarded back to me. So it was all over the place. So it took 57 days. But it was well worth it. It's uh, Mr. Tom Selleck. So the first, bit, the first photo I did is obviously trying to stick with the sports theme as much as I can. I did the cover to Mr. Baseball. So Tom Selleck. And I found this cool photo of him throwing at a Dodgers game. And you see he's got the pants on. He's got the Dodgers sh uh, shirt on. He's out on the field. And it says, to Brandon, Tom Selleck. So I got both of these baseball-themed photos signed by Mr. Tom Selleck. These were awesome. In blue Sharpie. And the signatures are really, really clean. So all in all, I would say that's a great day. It was well worth waiting the five or six days or whatever, however long it was without a TTM to get these back. I was really excited about them. They are really good. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm happy I got another card for my Team 90s. I know we're still playing catch-up probably, but I assure you guys on my team, I just got an order of 135 photos in. They're all football. They're all going out within the next couple weeks. I already got about 20 of them out. So... Um, I'm doing my part. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to get as many as I can for us. So, anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I really would appreciate it if you did. And as always, guys, I hope you have a blessed evening. Until the next video, see ya.